Mike Radich here, and I'm now joined on the phone by former UFC middleweight champion Dave Monet. Dave, how are you? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Dave, you got a fight coming up at Amazon Forest Combat 2. It's a rematch with Marilla Bustamante. How's training been going for the fight? Um, training's going good. You know, like anything, it's ups and downs, but uh, I feel good right now, and I'm ready, and uh, so just revving myself up and trying to focus and and getting ready, to, getting ready to get it on. Where are you training at, and who are you training with in preparation for the fight? Um, I train with some of my old students, and I've been training at the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy, and uh, with Greg Nelson, and um, Jacob Bolkman, and um, Paul Bradley, and some of the younger kids that are coming up. You know, there's parts Jordan Parsons and uh, some other people, so a whole slew of people. And now the fight with Moreau Bustamante, is this a fight that you've wanted for a long time, or did Amazon Force Combat just contact you and it's just, it happens to be a guy who's beat you before, or have you really want, pursued this fight before? Um, I might have pursued it in the past, but if we would have been in the same organizations, but um, it's something that just popped up. Right. Is this a revenge fight, or is this just a fight that happens to be against a guy who's beaten you before? What exactly are you going to the fight thinking? Um, I'm going into the fight thinking I'm trying to get ready for a fight, and, and uh, I'm going to deal with it as it is. I'm not thinking of necessarily a revenge. I can't say that. Uh, can't say one way or another. I'll think of that when I'm in there, but right now I'm just thinking about a fight, um, and I'm trying to get uh, ready to the best of my ability. How much do you remember about the first fight? Because it did happen 10 years ago. Yeah, it was a little bit ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was... Um, uh, I remember the first part of it. A little bit of it. I watched, I watched a little bit of it. Um, it was not the most... Uh, not the most advantageous circumstances. So, it was... Uh, a huge flu outbreak at the time, so I was in the middle of getting over that, or in the process of, of uh, con contracting it, so um, it was uh, altogether kind of a surreal experience as it was. How much can you take away from that last fight, and can you take anything away from the last fight, because like we said, 10 years ago, the fight, uh, first fight took place. What weight is this fight going to be at? Is it going to be at 185 or 170? Uh, 185. Another situation of opportunity presenting itself and I took it. So, uh, yeah. In the uh, previous fights, I've been trying to compete at 170, but it's, uh, like I said, it's an opportunity and uh, I, uh, an opportunity presented itself and you take it. You're 4-1 and one since leaving the UFC back in 2006. Are you looking to get back there, or are you just you know looking to take fights here and there on the regional circuit? What do you? Uh, what's your goal? What's your plan? My goal, uh, World Conquest, um, one fight at a time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. Yeah, my goal would be get would be to get back in the circuit, and um, I guess if the UFC um, and be making. I guess making good money at what I'm good at doing. 
You fought once in 2011, once in 2010, twice in 2009, once in 2008, and you didn't fight at all in 2007. How come you haven't been as active of late? Um, well, life, I was spending more time, I was spending more time training, but I mean, before that, I can't remember, um, there was a good couple years of the process, actually, on the UFC, like, contracted Lyme disease. Spent some time was pretty ill for a while, but didn't really know what was going on. Um, had uh, different symptoms and um, different things happening. And a period of time, I, I guess it took about a year and a half to two years into it, I ended up in a Walgreens uh, pharmacy on the floor, paramedics got called. Um, and then in the process, trying to track down what, what the hell was happening to me. So I think I spent about, I was on antibiotics for about eight months um, and were treated for that and a, a parasite and one other infection. So that kind of put me off for a while. Um, I was coming out of that and the Bellator came up. Um, you know, um, I guess probably not too long after finishing up the treatment and then you know that, then my father died. Um, later in year and well, a year and a half later my mom died and my brother so it's been a hectic couple of years. And do you plan on being a lot more active this year, like, you know, three, four fights, or are you just gonna take it whichever comes to your way you're gonna take and if you know if it only happens to be two times a year, that's what you'll do, or are you gonna pursue a lot more fights this year? I guess I'm, I've been actively trying to pursue fights, but I've been uh, trying to pursue fights and There was a rumor on the internet I saw that you were going to fight for worldwide MMA. You were gonna, supposed to fight Carl Parisian. Did you ever get any, you know, bout agreements, anything like that? Were you, were you ever in contact with those people? I was never in direct contact. But yes, I said I was interested. It was in the same time we were negotiating with Amazon and talking with Amazon. Um, I would have been at 170. Um, I said I was very interested. Went back and forth. I never talked to them directly. Um, so I can't necessarily, the individual that who was in the gym that had brought to my attention, uh, that they were, that they were interested and I said yes and, um, I put out, you know, what I'd be looking for as far as being compensated, um, and, uh, they showed some initial interest, um, and I think it fell through the last part, at the last part. Um, I just think Amazon was more willing to offer more and circumstances looked better. So you didn't have your pick. It was just that you know nothing ever materialized with worldwide MMA, and you just decided to go with Amazon because you you know were getting a chance to fight a guy who had defeated you earlier in your career. It was nothing like that. Um, was it? I, you didn't have I a was, you didn't have a pick. You didn't. It wasn't like you know I can either take a fight with Bustamani, you know he beat me, or I can fight at one seventy with Parisian. You didn't have a choice. You just that only one organization offered you, right? I never looked at the offer from uh, Worldwide World MMA. They had never sent me a contract about agreement. Um, we were never in direct contact about what kind of, uh, about a uh, purse, what, what the compensation would be. Um, I had thrown out some numbers about what, what I was looking for. Um, from my understanding, they at, the, at this juncture weren't, um, weren't, weren't interested in, in that. Um, so I took Forward my forward my career and uh, and obviously um, fund my uh, living. You're 37 now. How long would you like to continue to fight? Uh, I'd like to continue to fight as I feel healthy and and as I perform well. So I guess um, 
you know, as, 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 uh, my, uh, my body allows and, uh, God willing, I guess. You said that you would like to be back in the UFC. If another organization, I know that, you know, there's not that many major organizations out there nowadays, but would you be open to going somewhere else? Or is it, if you're going to be in a big show, you want to be in the UFC? Um, I guess that's something for me to ponder. Um, I'd have to look at, look at what organization, uh, where they're going, um, and what they're planning on doing. Um, and obviously, uh, what are the pros and cons of it? One, what kind of money would I be making? Two, would I be able to, I mean, am I going to be fighting the, um, high level opponents? Um, am I going to be able to progress myself in the, uh, forward and then they will? So, I mean, that's, I think that that would be, uh, situation I have to look at as circum- as a, and, and see the circumstances as they present themselves. Dave, real quick before I let you go, do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank? Anything you want to say to the fans? Most definitely. Um, I would uh, like to thank uh, Naja, uh, a short company out of Brazil. I'd like to say uh, Tabla Jacks, uh, Night Cycle, um, Cryosana, Minneapolis, and uh, MMA Grills out of San Diego. Um, if you need your, uh, you want to keep your keys and stay in the sport, uh, check them out. <laughs> but, uh, and then um, the fans, thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking around and thanks for watching and being there for me. Dave, thank you for taking the time to talk. I really appreciate it. Good luck at Amazon Force Combat 2 against Murillo Bustamante.